three, two, one. What's up, guys? Stonemount64 here, and yeah, Moab, baby. That's how I roll. Boom, get in it. With the uh, MP7 here, hammer scope. Second half of the game, I actually end up picking the FAD, and it's a pretty good gun, not gonna lie. Actually, I'm not a FAD user. Never liked it. I really don't like it. <laughs> but it was what I found right when I got my specialist package. I was out of ammo. I pick it up, as you guys will see. And this is probably just gonna be a tips, tricks, uh, how I feel about the Moab video or how I feel about the Moab in this video. So let me know what you guys think, and let me know if you want more tips like this. I do have a few things to offer you, so let's start it off simple. Basically, I'm in Ground War. Personally, I really like Ground War. That is, you know, in Black Ops, it took me a while, but I stepped my game up eventually, and I got to Ground War in Black Ops, and I went ham in Black Ops on Ground War. That was my favorite mode because there were so many people to kill. I knew how to deal with the spawns. I had a really great system. And that's what I've been kind of doing in Modern Warfare 3 too. I will go into Domination. I really like Domination because you know where they're spawning. It's just 10 times easier. Kill Confirmed is okay too, but like Team Deathmatch, those things like that, they're too fast and it's it's not as good in my opinion. But um, even though... Yeah, anyway, so this is a Domination Ground War, right? So there's a ton of enemies and you can die from bad spawns. Now that's probably one of the biggest complaints that you hear. The thing is, you can't just sit there and complain about the spawns. The best way to do it is just learn the spawns. So, that that's my best advice. For example, on Dome. When I was in the Dome, a guy spawned literally right behind me. In Like, I wasn't in the Dome, I was in C-Dom, if you guys know where that is. That's that little bunker. And I was literally inside of it, looking outside, and a guy spawned behind me. I turned around, killed him. And I was like, okay, wow, that was a terrible spawn. But instead of just complaining about it, I tried to learn from it and learn where they were spawning. And I noticed when I poked my head out, a guy spawned behind me. So I did that, and I got five kills from people spawning right behind me, and I was killing people outside. And I went, I went on like an 18 streak on Dome, just because I was trying to focus on learning the spawns instead of sitting there complaining about it. And that's kind of the same thing here. I'm trying to pay attention to where they're spawning. Don't just take the UAV for granted. People use Assassin, obviously. You can't just solely rely on one sense. If you're solely relying on UAV like this, you're going to miss somebody who's using Assassin. If you're tr only relying on sound whoring, which with Sitrep Pro is an absolutely beast thing. If you guys don't have all the perks Pro, that's going to help you tremendously in this. Not only for uh, later on you'll see, if I would have had Assassin Pro, I wouldn't have been counter UAV'd. You can't be EMP'd. Uh, it, it's tremendous. And then like Stalker Pro, that way you don't hit Claymores, you don't hit Bouncing Bettys. Blast Shield Pro helps you from flashbangs. The Pro perks absolutely help, even though I don't have any of them here. Here, as you guys can see, I'm running Recon, um, Sitrep, which I don't have Pro, and Marksman. None of these I don't have Pro. It's early on in my Prestige, so I don't think I even have any. I don't know what I have Pro personally. I think I have Slide of Hand and Quick Draw, but... If you're only relying on UAV, if you're only relying on Sound Whoring, you will fail. And it's pretty funny, after I got my Turtle Beaches, I was doing major Sound Whoring, just trying to learn how to Sound Whore, and I was actually like getting scared when I saw somebody who was using like Dead Silence or something like that. You got There's counters to everything. The best way to do it is just think about, okay, where are they spawning? So currently, I'm in the back of the map. I'm pretty safe over here. This is pretty deep in my spawn, but all my teammates are across the map, so they might be spawning at sea. So I'm looking over there. I notice that there's a lot of dots on the other side of the map, so I know they're over there because of the UAV, but you can't only rely on the UAV like I was saying. You gotta know where they're spawning, where they're coming from. Another thing, another tip that um, might help you guys out is, it's pretty obvious here, but get defensive uh, plays. So here you see they're taking C. I know they're on C, especially in Ground War. There's probably two or three of them on there. Get a nice two-piece. If you hear that you're losing something, those are easy free kills. But you need to make sure that you don't just run in there blindly because they, when people are on the flag, they're aiming down sight somewhere. So you can't get mad if you get killed rushing over there. Be smart. Throw a flash bang, especially if you're high up in your kill streaks. Another thing I would advise is try saving your grenade for when you know you're going to get a kill. Some people just throw it out randomly. I do that a lot too. But you're better off get, saving it for when you know you're going to get a kill. Um, just a pro tip if you guys uh, <laughs> agree with me on that one. Sometimes you do get the lucky grenade. But yeah, I also, you know, flashbangs are great. Those one of my favorite things. And uh, Semtex also. Those are the two that I always roll with. Uh, the great thing with that too is once you get Recon Pro, if you save it, then, well, not pro, but once you have a recon, that really helps you out with the flashbangs.
But anyways, guys, this is the end of the video. If you guys want to see a class setup or any other recommendations I have for you guys, let me know. I'd be more than happy to share my thoughts and how I've been doing it and getting my success with Moabs. Otherwise, that's pretty much it. If you want to check out my most recent And We Are Live episode, this one is pretty good, if I do say so myself. <laughs> uh, if you have never seen it, it's a pretty funny video from me, and uh, more than happy to show you guys. So go ahead and click the annotation on the screen. Peace out.